Hey everybody, this is Juliana Abden, aka Fit Mom Joy. And by the way, that is actually my Instagram name, and that's why I use it. And I also use it on my website, julianaabden.com. Anyway, um, I am taking a walk around work, trying to get some exercise in. And I just wanted to catch up with you guys and let you know how my fast went. It was, it was difficult. <laughs> I'm not going to lie. Um, I'm used to eating small meals and snacks throughout the day. So for me to go without eating for 18 hours was, even though I slept like for part of that time, really it was still kind of difficult. Um, last night... I had a little bit of coffee and I think like the warm beverage helped curb my appetite last night a little bit so that was good by 1 a.m. when I got off work I was doing pretty good actually I was tired I was more tired than normal even though I had had that coffee I still could feel the effects of not having the extra carbs in my body from my snacks so um, I was definitely more tired than normal. I got to bed a little later than normal, so I don't want to blame not eating on being tired, or be, I don't want to blame being tired on not eating because I got to bed kind of late. So, <laughs> so I was gonna be tired regardless. And um, I woke up with my little girl at 7 a.m. and I'm used to having breakfast right away. This morning I did not, so. I had to actually make some coffee right away so I didn't go crazy and start eating everything because <laughs> I was hungry and um, so I had my coffee that worked any warm beverage will work so I could have had tea I'm gonna take a break <laughs> I could have had tea or um, even just like heated up some lemon water maybe something like that um, but I had my coffee, carried it around forever. I like sipped on it for half the day, literally, just so I could have something going in and I wasn't thinking about eating. Maybe if I hadn't done that, I would have just not thought about it at all. So that could be, <laughs> that could be something else that you could do besides constantly sipping on something and having it go in and you thinking about ingesting stuff. I don't know, but it helped me. So I guess it maybe it made my brain think that I was actually eating something by drinking the warm coffee. I don't know. But, um, and for this morning, I went on a field trip with my daughter to the planetarium and that was a lot of fun. Totally took my mind off of eating. I could actually feel some hunger pangs and it was weird because I actually kind of got used to it. Like the hunger pangs didn't really bother me like Normally, I would feel my stomach growling and I would feel a sense of hunger and be like, oh, I better eat a snack or I better grab something or, oh, it's almost time. I have like 30 minutes till I get a snack because usually I try to schedule out my meals and snacks. So I'd be like, okay, 30 minutes, I'll have a snack. This time I wasn't going to eat till two. So I was just like, you know what? That's, I think about it. I'm like, yep, that's a hunger pain. Yep, I'm hungry. Moving on. So <laughs> figure out what I'm going to do next to take my mind off of it. So I was at the planetarium and they turned out all the lights and they put the video on. We watched a little video for the kids and then they put all the constellations up and that was really cool but it was really dark and I was extra tired so I kept yawning and I was kind of scared I was going to pass out but I didn't and it was all good. I actually, I was a little nervous about not eating for that long because sometimes people can get lightheaded. Um, I've been known to get kind of lightheaded and kind of nauseous if I don't eat after a while. So I actually took a Lara bar with me in my pocket just in case, being a good mom taking snacks, you know, I take them for myself too. Um, so I took a Lara bar. I didn't need to use it. I was fine. Um, so after the planetarium, I went home and I tried to occupy myself. I was cleaning stuff up and keeping busy with my little one, just um, playing with her and doing stuff like that. And um, keeping busy really helped me not think about it. Now, I'm not gonna lie, around one o'clock 
and I was supposed to start eating again at 2. 1 o'clock, I was getting kind of hangry. Like, I was thinking about it, and I was looking at the clock, like, every 10 minutes. I'd be like, what time is it? Is it time to eat? Is it time to eat yet? So, <laughs> so towards the end, it was a little sketchy. I was um, really feeling the, the need to eat, and I don't know whether, I mean, obviously, I didn't need to eat, because I have plenty of stored fat in my body to keep me going for quite a while. But um, I think it was the natural instinct that I have inside of me. The hormones were kicking in, causing me to feel that feeling of hunger. And actually red in women, that's because we, our bodies keep us eating just in case we have a baby growing inside of us. Isn't that crazy? So our bodies kind of like if we haven't eaten for a while, our bodies alert us to eat so we can nourish the fetus inside of us growing just in case. So no fetus here.